Yo, what's up guys, FazePers here, and I am bringing you, teaching you how to trick shot tutorial number 4. This one is going to be on Black Ops 2, I'm definitely going to make these on multi-cod uh, from now on, because, I don't know, FaZe has gone multi-cod, and I don't know, I would I would want to teach you guys how to trick shot and like what the differences are on each games and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, this was highly requested that I do Black Ops 2, and yeah, we're here. So, hope you guys enjoy this episode, peace out. Alright guys, first tip is going to be the pseudo knack or the pre-aim shot. This is a pretty cool shot. It's basically a shoot insta swap without having to use an equipped. Basically all you do is shoot and then click Y X. Basically you slide your fingers from Y to X. It should do this. If not, then you just have to practice the timing. All you just shoot and then Y X at the same time. Basically. Like click Y slightly before you click X. And yeah, the reason I like this shot, it's a little bit different than all the insta-swaps everyone's doing. That's one reason why I didn't like this game, is because all people did was insta-swap. And, I don't know, I just did, I liked finding shots that were a little different. And this is one that Cuba showed me. And, yeah. I hit a couple variations with this shot. This is one of the variations I was going for. Uh, just like, a scope reload, uh... Pseudo knack thing, but and here's another very eh, variation. I like this one too. Pretty sick. Uh, I like the shot a lot. It's a little bit different than what everyone else is doing, like I said. Uh, and I find it much simpler, just because you don't need an equip, and it looks basically just as good in my opinion. Uh, I don't like really sh like insta swapping in general. So yeah. Uh, also the pre aim shot. I'm not very good at it, but you have to like. You have to spin, you have to do like everything uh, before the shot, and then basically at the end you just do it, and then it should scope in in the kill cam, but I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll probably link a tutorial in the description of this guy that sent me his tutorial on the pre-aim shot. He's the one who made it, so yeah. On to the next tip! Alright guys, on to tip number two, which is zoom loading. Uh... I'm doing this because zoom loading is different in every game, and I'll tell you like the tips on how to do it well. On this, I would say it's the hardest on Ghost to do it, and then I'd say second hardest is this game. I don't know what they did with the zoom loading, but I don't know, it's pretty hard to do in the newer games. But anyways, zoom loading is simple, all you have to do is knife and then tap X while scoping in. Just tap it once and then scope in at the same time, and if you did it correctly, it should do what just happened on my screen. It'll scope in while reloading like it just did. Uh, I'm Like I said, I'm really not good at zoom loading on this game, and I never went for it on this game. I just did it in private match sometimes. But yeah. Tips to tell you how to zoom load. Uh, I don't know if you can equip zoom load on this game. Uh, if you can, I'm really not good at it, so there's not even a point of me showing you. So, yeah. Like I said, knife, tap uh, X, and then scope in at the same time. Wait until your gun is like it's like coming out, and that's when you you should click the buttons. If you do it too early, if you tap X and uh, scope in too early, it'll do what it's doing on my screen. It just scopes in. As in, if you do it or vice versa, if you do it too late, it'll just reload like it is right now. If you do it right, you'll know. It'll you'll like your screen's gonna flip out and stuff. But yeah, I guess I'll try to hit one for you guys, I don't know. I'm really bad at zoom loading in this game, like, as you can tell. I haven't played this game in... I haven't played this game since we got ghosts, so it's been a while. I actually think I took a break from this game a month, too. So, or like, the last month of, uh... Like, oh, there we go. I can't, I didn't hit it, but you saw it. Anyways, yeah, I took a break from this game like a month before Ghost came out too, so I'm just really not good at this game right now. But yeah, that's a quick zoom loading tip on this game. Uh, like I said, I will be doing these episodes multi-cod, so I hope you guys look forward to that. And I will be doing tips on like MW3, uh, Black Ops 1 if I get better at it. But yeah, on to the next tip. Alright guys, on to my third tip, which is insta-swapping, the basis of everything in this game. There are three types of insta-swaps. Regular insta swap, as you just saw, Y insta swap, or that's what they call it, Y insta swap, knife insta swap, and shoot insta swap. Uh, alright, 
insta swapping, all you have to do, regular insta swap, is just Y equip Y really fast. If you do it really fast, this is what should happen. It should switch to your other gun immediately after the cancel. Uh, knife into swapping is just basically you knife before it. For me, I play tactical, so I click B and then Y, R, B, Y. You can do an insta swap with the left bumper too, I just choose not to because I play claw, or I play stretch and it's easier for me not to use the left bumper. Shooting, shoot insta swapping is probably the hardest one out of all of them. You just, sh you shoot and then you click Y, R, B, Y, but there's like a certain timing for it. You have to wait a tiny bit. It depends on what gun you're using also. So I'll just show you a couple insta swaps. Here's one. Oh god, I didn't even jump. Uh, hold on. Oh, that went right through his legs. That was just like a knife into swap on the ground, knife into swap in the air. Here's another one. Like, knife into swap on ground, double Y into swap in the air. Insta swapping is base the basis of everything in this game, so you need to learn how to insta swap. There we go, knife into swap on ground, shoot into swap in the air. It's very easy, like I said. You can insta swap out of basically anything. You can insta swap out of scoping. You can insta swap out of a fade. You can insta swap out of everything. That's why it's the basis of this game. And you guys definitely should get it down. Honestly, practice the Y insta swap first. Actually, no, I think that the. the Knife into swap is the easiest, and then the Y into swap, and then the shoot into swap. Once you get them all down, you can just mix them all up, do crazy things. But yeah, on to the next tip. All right, guys. Fourth tip is the 45 degree angle. Um, this is a problem I had back when uh, I first started playing Black Ops. I found that it was hard for me to time spins. I felt like I was shooting early every time. If I went for a shot like a 1080 when the guy was in front of me. I would usually shoot like this way, and that, I don't know, that's just that's a really big problem because you're just not shooting where you, you need to be shooting, and there's a bullet trail that shows all of that. But the 45 degree angle tip is where, depending on whichever side you're spinning to, say you're spinning to the right, stand 45 degrees to the right, and you won't have to spin as much. Like, you will, your fingers will remember how much to spin but they'll spin like perfectly on because you added that 45. This is a, just like I showed you there, this is a tip that I highly recommend if you think you're shooting early. It goes vice versa with if you're standing, like if you're gonna spin to the left. I hate spinning to the left, so I'm not gonna show you that, but yeah, uh, the 45 degree angle thing is very, very helpful and you guys definitely should put it into use. I hated the fact that I always shot early. I told a bunch of people this, like Apex and Fakie, and I don't know about Fakie, but Apex started hitting a lot more shots because of it. So yeah, that's just a quick little tip. On to the next one. Alright guys, my last tip for you today is uh, beginner shots on this game. Uh, I'll be showing some simple shots that I think look pretty cool. First shot would be scoping in and then insta-swapping out of it. I think that looks pretty sick, especially if you do it with like a thermal or what's it called, um, an ACOG. I like it with the ACOG the best. Another one would just be like knife into swapping and then knife into swapping out of it, like on the ground and in the air. Just a clean shot. What else? Oh, there's this is a popular one that people do, which is just reload into swapping. Oh, that time I didn't shoot, but you guys get the drift. Uh, people do this with like, say like an like assault rifles and then they reload with them and then into swap out of them. I think it looks pretty cool. This is uh, once you get into swaps down, shots like this won't be that hard. This I I think I would consider this a beginner shot. It's when you have your gun like bolted like this, so it's uh, like it's cocked and you can't shoot with it. You just listen to the cock and into swap out of it. Pretty sick shot. I hit a variation of that for my episode with Zay. And I don't know, I like it a lot. It's a pretty cool shot. Let me switch classes and show you another class real quick. I'll show you this one. Alright, this class is my Riot Shield class. I have this just for the purpose of tack flipping and melee insta swapping. I like how the knife insta swap looks with this, just because, I don't know, it's like pretty badass. It's just like, it's sick. I don't know how to explain it. That's all that is, is a knife insta-swap, but I think it looks like a lot cooler with the shield out. 
Also, if you have overkill on and a shield, your combat knife flips when you bring it out like that. So, quick tack flip tutorial, but it's a very easy shot. You don't have to do anything. There's no, like, why, why, and sprinting or whatever in this game. All you do is just swap and it flips. I like it a lot. Another shot people go for is just, like, insta-swapping to their knife and then, like, insta-swapping out of it. Stuff like that. Just some easy shots that I hope you guys like. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. They really, really help. I want this series to do good on my channel. And I want like a lot of you to get into big teams later on and be like, Oh, Prizzy's thing helped me get into a bigger team. Or Prizzy's thing helped me hit one of my favorite shots. Stuff like that. I, I like hearing stuff like that. So yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. All my links are in the description. Use my code Prizzy for discounts off of your Control Freaks and Scuff products. And recently, my FaZe jersey shirt came out. It's like one of those NBA shirts with, like, your number and your name on the back and stuff like that. And if you guys really, really love me, like, I'm not telling you guys to go buy one, but if you guys really want to, buy one. Uh, like, I bought one. I think they look so sick. And I'm probably going to wear mine to shirt. Or, wear mine to school. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I love you all. Peace out.